That's Bermuda. We're back again with Mr. Swan. And we're going to pick up speaking about his return from the PGA Golf Tour and to his active involvement in politics. Over to you, Mr. Swan. Well, yes, thank you. Um, I came back to Bermuda in 1980 after um, attending um, Troy University, playing on the golf team, being in West Palm Beach in Florida, playing on the golf team in a junior college prior and um, was able to um, land um, a um, very, uh, at, at that particular time, a very uh, successful arrangement with the Castle Harbor Bermuda Properties where I was uh, mm -hmm. a teaching and a touring professional for them, mm -hmm. um, where I um, was able to go and qualify uh, for the uh, PGA European Tour to be the first Bermudian to uh, actually gain membership, to ever gain so, membership. So which countries did you get to tour? Uh, Britain, um, Holland, um, went to North Africa, Tunisia, um, Switzerland, Italy, France, Sweden, all over Germany. And how, yeah. when you, what was the, was it a, that, uh, we all know about Tiger Woods as quote unquote the first black champion. But was the golf field diverse then, or were you one of the few blacks in the golf field? Then? Most events, um, apart from myself and Rafe Potts, an, Amer uh, an American, an accomplished American player who played on the U.S. tour, who used to come over periodically and play, and um, and um, my friend uh, said Mohammed Musa from Egypt, um, that who, who would play periodically during certain periods. I was probably the only full-time black player at that time before me. Um, you know, it was uh, Vincente Shabala from um, from South Africa who had uh, ceased playing on the tour, but was uh, had won the French Open in the 70s. Um, but that was it. That was the that was the mm. that was the that was the diversity for from my from my perspective. Um, it was a matter of going over there and getting on and trying to do my best to play uh, professional golf. So while while you were doing these tours in Europe at that time, did you experience any forms of racism? Um, I ex funny enough, I experienced um, um, I experienced racism in the United States very overtly. I was uh, uh, more re well received in, 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 in Europe adjusting. Um, the, the only problems that I did have in the European tour uh, came when I went over there for qualifying and I was denied entry into Portugal, which made uh, headlines in, 19, in 1980. Um, and that was the, around the time when Bermuda's um, immigration laws were first, uh, were first changed. And um, they looked at my passport, which had, uh, which had stamped a uh, British uh, citizen, um, citizen of the United Kingdom and colonists, but they wouldn't, wouldn't allow me in Portugal and sent me back to Faro, to Gatwick, uh, from Faro. And uh, the tour, um, the current tour commissioner of the European tour today went out of their way to make sure that they, that they got me back on a Danier flight. They had someone meet me at, the, at Gatwick. They took me to uh, the Portuguese consulate. They put me up at the post house, made sure I got back. They gave me Manuel Pinero's caddy to make sure that I, and I was actually amongst the leaders going into the, to the last round, uh, which I felt very, it, they could have easily hung me out to dry. Uh, or sort of not been as a, as accommodating. That was my first initial um, ex experience. Uh, but the tour, I must say, the Europe, PJ European tour was uh, was very supportive of my of my membership there. Um, uh, but I did experience some uh, issues when it came to um, border control. Um, you know, traveling from the European tour went at that particular time. From we would go uh, from. We would meet in London, obviously, I didn't have any problems there, but we would travel to France, we would go to Italy, then we may go to Tunisia, um, come back and, and then play other, and I, I I did experience a lot of problems when I went well, that's to... But immigration to, to, more than yes, directly to yes, the but, apart, but, but apart But apart from, well, uh, yes and no, because there was an occasion when I kind of was uh, said, there was a, I met a Bermudian in an airport once, and I said, well, um, Gentleman Smith from he was a white Bermudian Smith from, from Padgett, and we were chatting. He, he recognized me, and so I said, "Can I recognize him? It's his passport." And he went straight through. Policia, here I come again. I said, "Man, that was a that was a that was a that was a nuisance." But I did experience some, some issues 
uh, in certain tournaments that I desegregated in the 70s. Um, uh, some of them unwitting that made headlines uh, because I would enter and I'd call up and, and you know, I had the credentials so I would get in and then people were kind of startled to find out that I was a, you know, that I was a black player but I was uh, traveling with friends uh, who, 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 who were white and we practiced and we traveled together, we played as partners sometimes together. So I was able to um, um, travel uh, in, 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 throughout the, in throughout the deep south in the, in the 70s as a, as a collegiate player and, um, and uh, you know, rise above it, if, if, if I could use that term, and be very successful as a, as a, as a learned black player in, um, in the United States. So when I went to Europe, I was already experienced um, with having had some uh, impediments. So, I was, uh, you know, I, I was able to um, cope. Let's put it that way.